Hey, Desmond Du here. Today we're going to learn how to create a philotaxis effect using some math expression. So for those who are not aware, a philotaxis is this beautiful arrangement of leaves which can be observed uh, in some plants, uh, one being a sunflower. So we can easily create uh, this effect by, write, by making use of the sine and cosine function. So let's begin. Alright, so in After Effects, I, let's hit Command N to create a new composition. I'm going to do Full HD, 24 frames per second. Hit Command Y to create a new solid. I'm going to make it 24,000 by 24,000, a little bit bigger than our comp size. Click OK, and I'm going to go to my Effects and Preset panel and type in Right On. So double click on it to apply the effect. We also need a slider controls to control the shape and the rate of our animation. So double click on the slider control. And in my effects panel, let's hit Command D to duplicate it. Let's rename the first slider to radius, radius, and the second one, frequency. So frequency F R E Q for sure. Uh, so let's go to the press position for the right on effect and hold down the option key and click on the stopwatch. So let's we're gonna create two variables, uh, the radius, which we're gonna plug our slider value into this expression box. So go ahead, grab the pick width and drag it to the slider, semicolon, and then we're gonna do frequency equals to slider control, semicolon, and we're gonna need two more variables, x and y. So x is equals to radius times map dot sine parentheses time times frequency semicolon and we're going to do the same thing for y you can copy and then just paste it for y and just change x to y and change instead of sine we're going to use cosine or cos uh, and then let's finish it off with uh, by making an array x comma y click outside of the expression box and nothing happens because our slider value is at zero so let's raise it up and again nothing's happening Let's zoom out. This is because our, if you click on our right on effect, our burst position is actually on the top left hand corner. So to fix this, we need to go into our expression and type in value plus x, y. Okay, and let's see. If you were to scrub through a timeline, you can see there's this uh, radio stroke on effect. Uh, right now it's pretty small and pretty far away. So let's increase the radius. And we can increase increase the brush size, maybe about 10. Okay, so right now just going in a circle, that's not very interesting. We need to go in into expression and uh, change the radius. So we want the radius to grow as time proceeds. So we're going to type in time times well, our radius slider. Okay, and then let's, oops, let's click outside. And there you go, we have this, uh, this philotaxis effect already. And then maybe we can reduce the radius. And then you can play with the frequency and you can get a bunch of interesting shapes. Uh, or you can play, play with the brush size, brush spacing. And you can play with the stroke length as well. So that you can animate uh, a little bit of, of this, this interesting shapes over here. Um, yeah. So we're very much done. Uh, before we end off, uh, let's see, maybe we can add a rotation to it. Uh, so let's select our layer, go ahead, press R, and then hold down our option and click on the stopwatch, and we're going to type in time, time 60. And let's play that back and see what happens. Cool. For those who are curious about the, the setup I have for one of the Philotaxis uh, preview in the beginning, uh, here are my settings. So we have brush size 10, uh, we have stroke length of 8 and brush spacing of about 0 0.017, radius 150 and a frequency of 465. So that's the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching it and I hope you learned something. See you next time.